Hi, hello, welcome back to Motherly Kitchen. Today we are with a video of unboxing of Black and Decker 4 in 1 blender and juicer. So, my little baby Aisha is with me here for helping me out for unboxing the grinder. So, we'll just move on to the video. Aisha, go. Okay. Yeah. I'll help you out, baby. Okay. Mm. Oh my god, mommy. What is that? Open. Open. This it. is your new sports blender set. Can I help mommy? So you can see that it's a sports sports blender set and it's 300 watts and I have bought it from Noon and it was pretty good. It has a pretty good review. Like we can carry anywhere, it's so lightweight and it's very easy for carrying to making any smoothie or any your diet drinks or any of the supplements. So we'll open it and we'll see it how it works. So we are unboxing it. Okay. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. It's Aisha. My Aisha baby is opening it. Yeah, hold it tightly. Yeah. Very good. Yeah, baby. Wait, wait, hold on. We need to cut it that side. One second, baby. Yeah, now you can open it slowly. Oh my god. This is the tops. Oh my god. Oh yeah, it's a blender. And what else is there inside? Oh I'll help you out, baby. What happened, Yeah. You see this? This is the blender. Oh my god. <laughs> this is oh my god. I think so. She's so surprised. She's unboxing it for the very first time. Mom, one more. So she's just throwing it away. Look, one more. Yeah. And we have one more jar. Let's see what is inside. Okay? Okay, so we shall open everything. Mom, look. Remove is... all the plastic from the Oh my god! Oh my god! Hold on, hold on, we'll just open it. Open oh my Yeah, you can see here. This is mom. One and two and three and four and five. Yeah, baby. Look, ma'am. Wait, wait. We'll just show to our audience first. This is a citric juicer. Okay. It's a citric juicer. And then a small blender. And a small juicer. And it's also a small... Oh my God, mom. No problem. And a small blender. It's This is the one which I've seen which made me purchase this because this bottle is so con uh, convenient and compatible for carrying to gym or when you're traveling. It has stopped to hold on after the grinding you can directly remove the lid and you can take the top and you close it and you can take it to the gym or anywhere you want it to Mom, one and okay so we'll just try with this this blender it's 500 ml juicer so we'll just make a fruit juice in this and we'll check how it works out and how is the quality of the blender so i'll just go and wash it out and come okay now we have washed it up okay let's take some fruits up here so i'm gonna try some <coughs> apple i'm gonna so, so, try some apple The apple is so juicy. I'm just putting the parts like this. I'm not making into cut short pieces. But the straight cuts, let's see how it works out. One apple. Now I'm adding some pomegranate to this apple. 
because one of my favorite fruit is this so let's see how this is going to make a perfect blend have added all the fruits that is needed and i'm adding two ice cubes to it let's see how it goes and i'm not adding any sugar as normally i don't add any sugar to my juices because it's not good and healthy so it's only the fresh juices so now it's time to blend so i have locked it lock it nicely like this and now i'm gonna on the machine so now you can see that i have tried my best to grind it but it didn't happen so now i'm going to add some water to the blender and we'll see how the result will be so i'm now i'm adding some water to the blender and we'll see the result how it goes i'm just closing the lid and i'm going to fix it back to the grinder locking it yeah now we'll go yeah okay so now the juice is ready <clears throat> i thought the minimal water would be enough but now i have added some water and it has grinded very well it has blended it both the fruits now we add it to a glass so actually we don't need it to add it to any glass okay we can drink it ourselves but for the time being i'm showing you in a glass to just show you how the juice is going to be so i'm just adding it to a glass my baby is helping me out yeah slowly baby slowly it has to go inside yeah stop it stop it so you can see that my baby is also drinking a bit how is it aisha how is the juice this is um, this is uh, a lot this is this one apple apple how you like it it's good okay drink it so you can drink it directly from the bottle now we are trying out the 300 ml blender so for that i have taken my husband's favorite it's sweet melon and a guava so we'll just blend it these two fruits and see how it works out in this 300 ml blender okay so we are going to cut this yeah so now we are going to cut the sweet melon like this and then remove the knife keep it back and give a press to the other side so you can see the melon like this i'm taking the half part aside and this one we don't want it from inside and we are moving it back so actually we are we need to blend like oats or smoothies or anything but i'm i always do with my fruits so that's the reason why i'm showing you with the fruits so before that i'll just open the blender this is 300 ml jar so i'm just cutting it like this it's not needed actually i can scoop it up i guess i'll scoop it up I'm going to scoop it up the sweet melon. It's so it's not so much ripened that's the reason why it takes a little tough to come out. I'm adding some sweet melon. Actually it's very good with the milk but right now I'm just going to make it with some guava. So now we can see the guava. 
nice twist to one side and then nice twist to the other side. So it's a white gua from inside. I'm not removing the outer portion. I'm adding it the whole gua to the blender. Let's see how it works out. Cutting it. I'm just taking a half of the gua. Not fully because the blender is just small. It's only just 300 milli. So we'll just see the result how it goes. Alright. That's enough now. Now I'm adding a little water to it. Yeah. And then I'm adding a piece of ice to it. Let's see the power. Now I'm just closing it up. Now lock the blender. It has a lock. It has to fill into the lock. Otherwise it will not. The machine will not power on. You can see the arrows here. Aisha, start the button. Yeah, start it. No problem. So now it didn't get blended as it is. So I was just checking the guide of the blender and I can see that they have mentioned it to cut the fruit or veggies to one to two centimeter like cube. So I'm just taking it up and I'm just trying to chop it a little bit smaller pieces and I'm going to keep it back. Okay, now I have chopped into what like they have mentioned in the booklet into the small, small cubes. And now I'm going to try it again because normally, you know, for a diet or if we are going to gym, if we wanted to do something, it's not only milkshake we do. We need to mix or we need to blend juices also, right? What is the use of doing only for milkshakes? Because for milkshakes, the common recipe is milk, yogurt, or we'll just add up some oats or some protein powder or something. But what is the need for a blender? Then we can use a hand blender. Then why do we need a four-in-one set for the blending? So... I'm a little frustrated with the blender. So I'm just going to retry it with a small cube pieces. I'm going to lock this now. And let me see the result. It has grinded, but not really well. I can see the chunks inside. Let us remove because it is a waste of time actually. If you wanted to cut the vegetables or fruits into the little little pieces, then it's very difficult. It's like a so time consuming. So you can see the chunks has filling in. It's not blended it properly. It doesn't show any result of the 300 watts power blender. I feel this is my feedback I'm showing you live. Because I'm not hiding anything. I'm just taking the video right away. You can see the chunks are inside. See, I think so nobody will like the juice like this. Because when we are going in for a gym or if we wanted to have a quick meal, what we do is like suddenly whatever fruits we are having it, we just take it up into the blender, we just mix it and we just drink it. That is the purpose of a sports blender. But what I can see is like it's not blended properly. You can see the chunks inside. Because it doesn't have any power. I feel the same. Because I don't want it to purely harass any brand. But this is the result of buying the product. So now the third one is a, uh, is a blender with a citric juicer. So we will just try out this juicer now. With few oranges out. And the oranges are normally very smooth. And any blender can make it blended so fastly. So we will check out with this blender. How it goes in this blender. We'll have a try out. So I'm just adding up the oranges. I'm taking two oranges. One orange I have taken it like this and put into the blender. One I'm adding fully to the blender. Let's see the result. Close the jar. And now there is an option for the citric juicing also. So on the go we will try the juicer also. So now I'm just locking the jar. 
Now I'm just starting the blending. Okay. So I guess we need to add some water because normally for the blender, it blended nicely without any water because already the fruit contained the juice inside or the water content inside. So I'm just adding few water, some water to this. So now I'm just inserting it, locking it and I'm just starting the blending. Okay, I can see that the oranges has been grinded and mixed well. At least the citrus is working. But only the blade is good for this. If you wanted, you can also have an option of adding the citrus juice like this. You can cut a lemon. You can squeeze it inside like this. So it goes inside well like this. I think so this jar is a little good because if we add water it get blended. It's not like the other 500 and 300 ml juicer. Now I don't know how I'm going to pour this into the juicer glass because here the side is a citric juicer. If I pour like this, it is coming out like this. It takes a lot of time and also you can see all over it has gone. And if I take to the downside, then it is going to fell fully from the jar. And if I'm going to close this and open it like this, then it is going to fell like this. So anyway, I'm just opening it the back side. Let's see what is going to happen. I'm just pouring the juice to the glass. Still, you can see the chunks are there. It's not fully blended. And I don't think so. I was having very anxious and I was very proud that I bought the Black and & Decker and I thought it, I could use it for a longer time and also it could blend any juice or any fruits or anything whatever I wanted but the result was just the opposite and I don't think so this suits me or rather you if you are a person who normally blend fruits, veggies or soups or anything in the blender because it doesn't give us the finished product nicely because there are lots of left leftover chunks inside it's not blending it fully but if you are just using it only for milkshakes or some smoothies then it would be perfect root blending or vegetable blending it's a complete flop i must say because it's not properly grinding so now we are trying the final and the last fourth one it is like the similar juice of what we are using so i'm just gonna add some goa let me see how it goes. I'm just adding a little bit of fruits and I'm also cutting into small pieces. Let me see how this one goes. But the blade doesn't have much power like the one I'm using actually. I don't think this is so good for the blending. I didn't like the three ones. Now we'll go with the fourth one. We'll see how it goes. And I'm also adding some water. I'm adding full water actually. Normally the case with the four blenders was that I have been added water but still there was chunks inside. It was not fully blended. Now I'm adding the fourth blender. Let me see how it goes. Just... So now the juice is ready. Let us take it out and see the result. The juice we will just pour into a glass and see how it goes. Okay. This one has blended it fully actually. I must say that because it, the blade was a little big one compared to the other three blenders and it has served the purpose. But with only one jar, why do we need to have the set of four in one? I am not sure. But the fourth one is pretty good. It has blended it very well. You can see in this. The fourth one is pretty good and I have added much water into this. So without sugar, it's very difficult to drink. Normally, I don't add any sugar to my juices. Instead, I add a little bit of water or one or two ice cubes. But this tastes like so much watery and it doesn't taste like the fruit taste is not there. So I think it doesn't serve my purpose and this blender 
doesn't suits my requirement thank you so much and we will be trying out to check out the new blender in the market which is good in price and good in quality and which suits for blending all the fruits and veggies so now you can see the goa juice and now you can see the first juice which i have blended and you can see i have added few ice and it is so much watery and now the orange juice you can see how it is and then the goa with the melon juice how it is lots of chunks and it did, it didn't blend it properly and the blade is so small i think so the blade is so small for this and that's the main reason why it's not grinding it properly i really don't want it to degrade any brand or promote any brand this is not like i paid promotion or anything that of that sort but this i really purchased it for maintaining a proper diet for myself and i really wanted to add so much of fruits and veggies to my diet as a part of meal i wanted to have one time meal as a juice so where i'll be taking this 500 ml jar and i'm adding some fruits this was my thought process i'll add some juice to, uh, fruits to it i'll just have and blending and i'll just drink it right away as a one time meal but this doesn't serve that purpose i'm showing the four blenders performance with the genuine fruits and you can see it and if you feel the review is genuine please do comment like and subscribe my channel for me more videos like this thank you